Welcome to Graduate Monkeys YouTube channel. In this video, we'll look at some financial stuff such as borrowing, loans. So we have Zero Down Financing Solutions Limited, and they offer you a loan amount ranging from $1,200 to $7,200. And these loans come with different terms and repayment amounts per month. For example, if you picked $1,200 loan and chose to repay over 360 days, it would come down to $104 per month. So over how many months you would you repay it? Well, that would be 360 divided by 30, right? Because it says assume 30 days. Now, let's, let's review the question here. So if a borrower wanted a loan of 1,200, the 360 day term loan would be more than five times cheaper than the 720 day term loan. So this is not a question, it's a statement. And this type of questions or problems are called um, uh, verification, uh, true, false, or cannot say type uh, basically problems. And here you need to verify whether it's true, false, or whether there is not enough data to confirm or deny. So basically here, we need to work out the cost of this loan. In other words, the in total interest or the dollar interest that you would pay for this one versus the other one. So you need to compare these two. How would we do that? Well, we need to work out the interest or net interest that would be payable on both. So for the first one, the monthly amount is the 100, 104, right? So oops, let me just... So it's going to be 104, $104 times how many uh, months? Well, it's 360 divided by 30, right? And that would give us 104 times 12. It's going to be, um, well, firstly, actually, let me just subtract the loan amount because we are working out the interest, right? So 1,200. So straight away, that would give us $48, $48. What about the second one? The monthly amount here is $65, $65, and note that it's actually 720 day term. So 720 would be, uh, we would actually divide by 30 and minus 1,200 because the, the loan amount is the same, right? And that would give us, well, 65 times 24 is going to be 1,560. So 1,560 minus 1,200 is going to be $360. Now, how do we actually know that, uh, you know, this option is five times cheaper than this one? Well, all we need to do is take $360 and divide by $48. And if this is amount is bigger than five, then it's true. If it's smaller, then it's basically false. Now, 360 divided by 48, 360 by, divided by 48 is actually equal to 7.5, which is bigger than 5. So the answer is true. In other words, you know, this loan is more than 5 times cheaper, exactly 7.5 times as cheap as the second option. So if you, if you were to borrow 1,200 over a longer period, in other words, two years, it would actually cost you a lot more in terms of net in terms of interest that you would pay over that loan okay and that's it